Oh my god, the NFTs today went horrible. Anyway, welcome back. We got another <sighs> mail day. Mail day, mail day, mail day. Um, this actually came while um, I was waiting on the Avatar NFTs to drop. So, did I buy packs? Yes. Did I get anything worth talking about? No. Not, not a thing. There is nothing I even want to talk about with those Avatar NFTs. I bought six standards, two premiums, and not a thing. Hundred bucks? Bye, 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 bye. Um, did, on the other hand, end up just two cards away from the royalty set, which I'll go ahead and just buy later and knock out that set. We'll have that royalty set with two cards away, so it's well worth just putting it together and calling it a day. Took my doubles and just sold them. Um, took the little bit of money I had and wax and used that. And put the royalty set together. The only cards that are actually worth anything in this set were the, were the uh, epics and legendaries and grails. None of the rares held any value whatsoever. And I'm really confused why. Like, so commons I expect to be cheap. Uncommons usually cheap. Rares are usually at least a few bucks, but a lot of these I bought for under 50 cents. Uh, you can do the calculation for wax, but they're under 50 cents. Why? I don't know. People are just annoyed where people not buy. I mean, they're starting to creep up in value now, but oh my god, I bought so many of this stuff for a lot cheaper. Let me put it this way. Out of the packs, we got like $45 worth of value back. Out of... The resale, only one card that I put up was over a dollar, which was my Epic Double, which I sold for like 10 bucks to buy another Epic. Um, the Epics I bought were between 9 and 10 bucks. I think now they're getting a little more expensive. The Uncommons I sold along with the Commons for around the same price, like a few cents. And the Rares I bought mostly, most of them I bought for around 50 cents. I think like one of them was like a dollar. It really, did. none of them were that expensive. So, this is a relatively cheap set to put together. I highly recommend it. If you didn't, if you missed out and you want that Freddy as Ang Funko, like I know this one out there already that just came out um, in the box of fun, but this one is, in my opinion, so much cooler. And they're about numbered about the same. They both are numbered about 4,000. I'm going to recommend putting that set together and going ahead and do it. It's going to cost you maybe, give or take, 100 bucks to put the set together. Packs, premium packs are going for like $45. And the common standard packs are anywhere from 12 to like 14 bucks. So the standard packs aren't bringing much more value than what they sold for at time of the release. Premium packs are creeping up. Because your odds are better, so that being said. So I did horrible, but I will be putting the royalty set together, so I will be getting the Royal Yang. I don't really care if there's one already out and from the box of fun. I think this one's a lot cooler than the one from the box of fun. And the number is about the same thing. This one's forty one hundred, the one from the box of one's four thousand. Whatever. So that's that. I just want a redeemable from it. I really want a painting lady. Uh, the Grail's super expensive right now. I probably would have sold that to buy a couple legendaries and put the set together. To be absolutely honest, if I hit the Grail, because I really wasn't interested in the Grail. Um, but yeah, that's that. But that is not why you guys are here. You guys are here to hear me babble about something. And when you see this video happen two, three days ago, you're here to see what I got in the mail while waiting for the NFTs to drop. And this is one from the SDCC 2022 drop. It's from Entertainment Earth. Probably one of the few pieces that I really wanted. Um, and the main reason is because it's Tron related. And anyone that knows me knows I absolutely love Tron. I have the I have a couple Tron statues up there. I have a toy, a Tron toy from when I worked at Toys R Us. And I have the movie somewhere laying around. On that shelf back there. And I just love Tron. I'm not going to lie. 
John's probably one of my favorite movies, and the when they did the modern day one, I was obsessed with it. So it's all great. This though is probably the lightest pump Funko Pop I have ever held in my life, and no, you know, I like South Park, but not enough to really go out and just jump on it. But this was Tron, this was South Park, and this was Glow in the Dark. It is digital stand, and as you can see, clearly tell he is in his. Tron outfit. And I'm assuming all that blue glows in the dark. Um, when I get better lighting, I will have to do a video of this glow in the dark and black light stuff. But yeah, I'm assuming all that blue glows. Anyway, it's not part of it. No, I've seen all those on the wild that have passed them. But because this was Tron related, I had to, had to buy it. So, Entertainment has shipped. Um, the minor box damage, but I really don't care. This is such a cool piece. And I am actually, this thing's super light. It's super small. He is literally, like, this big. I think we need to open him and see what he looks like outside of the box. What do you think? I think so. I'll be back. And I'm back, and I have him out of the box. One thing I didn't know is that because he's so small, there is tape. Right here. One of those little circle stickers that they stick on packaging. Because it they don't have the clips on them. I don't. Well, they have it. I, I don't. I don't know, maybe it's to make this is your tamper. This is your tamper proof seal to make sure that you can see what inbox and out box. And if that's the case, hey Funko, it just proves you guys care about inbox and out of box collectors. And you guys care that the resale value for out of box is uh make sure things aren't tampered with when they are opened. That's the only thing I can think of this one for. And I don't know if you can see actually see that on camera. Kinda of see it, but yeah. There's a tamper-proof seal. The same seal that they put on the box of fun. Whatever. But, this guy is so, so small. Oh my god. You don't believe how small this guy is. So, let me find something that I can compare him to. Well, I have a can of soda. Well, you know a basic can of soda. Right? Can of soda. Boom. <laughs> he is so short. He's not even half the can of soda. He is so light and so small, but he is so cool. Oh my god. Look at this guy. Oh my gosh. He is awesome, though, in this Tron gear. And the fact that he is pint size, like, seriously, pint size, even makes it so much more awesome. I love this one. So. I can't wait to get better lighting and get to glow on this thing. Because this thing is going to be awesome when it glows. I am excited to have this in my collection. This is going to be great with probably my other Tron stuff. But yeah, we'll go with my Funko stuff. I got to reorganize my shelving here. More stuff. No place to put it. I'm running out of space. But yeah, this one's awesome. This guy is awesome. He is so short. She gives my wife as they hear. You have a friend. <laughs> my, my wife's five foot tall. Anyway, this guy is cool. If you didn't get this, you are probably just missing out on a great South Park piece. I absolutely love this one. Um, you probably might be able to find it. Entertainment Us had them. That's who I got them through. They packaged it pretty well. A lot of wrap and more wrap and more wrap. Um, yeah. So, if you like this content, make sure you hit that like button. Come on, hit that like button. I want to see more likes on my videos. And also hit the subscribe button. I would love to see my... The people that watch me come back instead of you just being another non-subscribed viewer that I have a lot of. If you're watching me every day or every other day or a couple times a week, hit that subscribe button so you know when my you can see my stuff come up or hit that bell so you get notified that my stuff is live. Um, I'm trying to post a video about 6 o'clock every day Eastern Standard Time um, as long as life permits. It's reality of the world. But until next time, I don't know why. I am absolutely in love with this figure. Absolutely in love with him. He is so small. But anyway, until next time, take it easy. Have a good one. Peace.